Hello all, in this video I am going to solve problem number 9.35 Ray Optics Standard 12 Physics NCRT textbook. So we are given a telescope and I am going to actually solve C part first then B then I am going to come to A. Now the purpose of telescope is to see very far away objects nearer. Alright, so this is an object which is at a distance of 3 kilometers away from the objective. So that means this distance is 3000 meters. The focal length of the objective is already given as 140 centimeters and the eyepiece focal length is given as 5 centimeters. So you can actually uh, see this one that with respect to the focal length this object a tall building whose height is 100 meters is very far away. You can see that with respect to this this distance is very very far away. So you can consider this object to be very far away almost at infinity. Under that situation you will get an image at focal plane. Please understand when you say an object at infinity you mean sun, sun star, moon etc. and their images are formed at focus. But now this object is not practically at infinity it is at very large distance compared to the focus. So the image is formed at the focal plane. So this point this is the focal plane and this point is the focus of the objective right so the image distance itself becomes the focal length so this is the image distance i should say vo now that itself is equal to the focal length now this image behaves as an object for the eyepiece now this image falls between the optical center and the focus of the eyepiece so this image which is actually behaving as the object for this is between O and F. So you get a large virtual image just on the same side of the lens. Now in the problem they have given that the final image is formed at D. So this distance final image from the eye is located at 25 centimeters. Now since eye is very close to the lens something like this. So you can consider the distance from here to here or here to the eye as almost 25 centimeters. Alright. Now what is the logic over here? You can see that these two angles are vertically opposite angles because from the object the rays would directly converge to the image. All right. So we know that this triangle and this triangle if I find the tan theta that is equal to this by this and tan theta of this that is this by this that would be the same. All right. So first of all let us calculate the C part first because that is the easiest and you know that the magnifying power for a convex lens can be either D by F or 1 plus D by F. So when the final image is formed at D, the magnifying power of the eyepiece that will be given by 1 plus D by F E. So I should say this is 1, now D is 25, focal length is 5, so that is 1 plus 5, so that is 6. The magnifying power of the eyepiece turns out to be 6. Now let's solve the B part. Now as I said that we are supposed to find the height of this image, height of the image which is formed at the focal length of the objective. So tan theta from here is equal to 100 upon 3000 and you should be careful that you should convert everything into SI units. All right. Now here it would be equal to HI upon this distance which is the image distance or the focal length of the objective. So that is equal to HI upon 140 centimeters and that's fine if you don't convert that into the a meter as well because these two are going to get cancelled. So this goes HI is equal to 140 centimeter into 100 divided by 3000. Now 0, 0 cut, 0, 0 cut once again. So you will be getting this, this is 100, so two zeros and one, so three zeros. So this height of the image is roughly about four, three ones are three fours are, so approximately 4.7 centimeters. Please understand that the object is not practically at infinity, but very, very far away because this distance is very large compared to this. So when the object is very, 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 very far away, the image is formed at focal plane. Okay, fine. Now talking about the A part, for that you will have to refer to the previous question and it says that you are looking at object at infinity. 
so something like this this is the eyepiece and eye is very very near to the eyepiece this is eyepiece and this is objective so the object is at infinity because you are looking at a very far away object practically at infinity then the image is formed at focus this is the focus of the objective now this image behaves as the object for the eyepiece now since this eyepiece its focus is also exactly at this point how do i know that because this image which is actually the image for this lens is going to behave as the object for this lens so now when the object is at focus then and only then the image would be at infinity that's what is given in the question under this situation the distance between two lenses would be fo and this distance is fe so the distance between both the lenses will be fo plus fe and that is 140 cm plus 5 cm so our answer would be 145 cm